Hi everyone, so today I'm going to talk about expat bank accounts. I'm going to really summarize what you can do. Now, first of all, I would say if you're staying in a country for a small amount of time or just a short time and it's only going to be one country, of course, a local solution makes sense, right? If you've got a job offer in China, in Cambodia, in Canada or wherever it is, of course, you're going to need to have a local bank account most of the time, although some expat employers will pay half into your home country's bank account half into uh, the local bank account. There are different ways of doing it, but in that situation, a local solution makes sense just to use it to pay bills, not keep a large amount of money in that uh, bank account. However, a lot of expats go from country to country, right? They have two or three years in one country, two or three years in another, and some people say for oil and gas, they might have two months in one country, then off, two months in another country, and off. And for those people, they look for an expat bank account, and typically it's things like HSBC expat or Standard Bank uh, Isle of Man or a few other options. So basically what I would say is this, is that I have a standard bank account and I think Standard Bank are probably the best option in the expat market. The negative about them is it does take a couple of months sometimes to actually open up bank accounts, but for just purely bank accounts, they are a pretty good option. However, I would say the HSBC are quite expensive for many things. That doesn't mean that they're not uh, they're not an awful option, but the fees are quite expensive and the HSB expat wealth management accounts are actually not that good. They're uh, pretty expensive, they have limited choice and so on. They're not that much different to say a Zurich Vista account, which I reviewed before. So I would suggest this, that have a local solution if you're just going to be in one country. If you're going to move from country to country, then get a standard bank account. But when it comes to your investments, always have them separate to a bank account. In other words, Standard Bank, HSBC, some of them have half decent investments, but I would say none of them have the kind of cost efficient um, options which exist in terms of, of platforms. So I would always make a separation between your bank account here and your uh, investment needs here. I wouldn't put them together. I know it's more convenient to have you know, the same account, you know, your, 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 your bank account and your investment account, but that usually doesn't make sense. Okay, everyone, uh, like and subscribe and comment if you found it useful and look forward to speaking to you next time.